hello youtube and welcome to another windows tutorial so in this video i will show you actually how you can fix a corrupted 3gp video or audio file so are you ready let's get started so as you can see here on my desktop i have two files one is the corrupted 3gp file and one is actually a copy of the same device that was actually recording this 3gp file okay but it has a length that exceeded the corrupted one so it's very important to have one copy of the video file from the same device so as you can see here if i want to open this 3gp file i cannot play it so let's open it for example with vlc notice that it can be played so I will try to fix this corrupted 3GP file so actually in order to do that it's pretty simple so all you need is a hex editor so here I'm using free copy here of HXT which you can find in the internet it's a pretty famous hex editor and is free so I will open actually a good copy of the same device that was that has recorded this corrupted file so as you can see here i will play this uh, just sample 3gp video from the same device so as you can see it's come on uh, actually a car so it's working good and it has actually a size bigger than the corrupted one so i will open it by this hex editor so I'll just drag and drop here we go it's pretty easy and I will also try to open this corrupted 3gp file with same hex editor so here I have two tabs one with the corrupted one and one with the good copy so in a video from the same device that has size that exceeded the corrupted one so I will go to actually the corrupted copy here and as you can see just in the beginning there is a string called m dot so i will select this one with my hex editor so with my mouse actually and i will hit the shift key so i will press the shift key and i go to the bottom of the file so the last digit i can also select them okay so i will release in this case the shift key so here what i have done is actually i have so selected the file from the m dot string to the end of my file okay so all i have did is the selection so i will go to edit and i will copy this copy now i will do the same thing with the good copy of the 3gp video file so i'll go to my good copy here and i will select also from the m dot string here as you can see i will hit now the shift key and with my mouse i will go to the end and i will select the three three bytes if you want so as you can see i have selected from the m dot to the end of the file and this time i will go to edit menu and i will just select pass right okay so here what i have done i have copied from the corrupted file to the good copy of any video file so here you can see all the things that are with the red color actually are the copied so of course as i told you this uh, good copy here of video file is exceeded in size the corrupted one so i will have at the end a copy that contains the recovered video from my corrupted file then 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 something else with this good file here okay so now i will just hit save i'll go to file save so i'll save actually 
what I have done here in the good copy. So now my good copy will contain actually some videos from this corrupted one and at the end it will contain the rest with this good copy so you can use any video editor in order to delete the part that you don't want. So let's play now this uh, good copy here. So actually this corrupted file was generated after a car accident, a car crash. So I'll open this good copy here with always with the VLC. Okay, so here you can see the beginning. So I will try to reduce the size. So here you can see the beginning of this good copy which contains actually the car accident here. So I have actually recovered this corrupted copy. And of course at the end you can see what I have in my good copy. So it was just a sample copy. So I don't need all these parts so I can delete it. But all I want is this beginning here before the car accident. So actually I recover it. So this pretty simple method you can actually fix any corrupted 3GP file or audio also file if you want. Just copy from the end that to the end of the file to any good copy but you have to pay attention that this good copy should also be recorded from the same device that was actually using to generate this corrupted version okay or the copy so as always i hope it has been informative for you and i want to thank you for viewing bye bye